She adopted a baby. Her name is Lily. Oh, exciting. Uh, just turn it off. I can't turn it off. It's who I am. The music. Yes, the music. Come say hi to Lily. Uh, uh, there's a good chance you recognize Mitchell and Cam, the gay couple on the hit show Modern Family that much of America invites into their living rooms every week. Some attribute shows like Modern Family and a changing depiction of gay marriage in American pop culture more broadly with an increased approval of it in real life. The Post's Krissa Thompson is standing by. She has taken a look uh, back through the years at this pop culture evolution from Archie back in the late 70s finding out about a secret lesbian relationship in his family. I can't understand you people at all. <laughs> to the Golden Girls grappling with gay marriage in the early 90s. I can accept the fact that he's gay, but why does he have to slip a ring on this guy's finger so the whole world will know? To more recently, a reality show based around the fashion taste of five gay men. We got rid of the flab and it's time to start feeling down. <laughs> it has indeed been an evolution. It's amazing just to look at those clips and I imagine the, some of those early ones are as outrageous to us as things that air today would have been to people in the 70s, but what a change it's been. Yeah, you can really see how pop culture has always been a couple of steps ahead of the trends and the polling. I mean, when you look back at that Archie episode. Not that far ahead. <laughs> not that far ahead, really. You know, his wife is accepting as we expect Edith to be in those episodes, and Archie is just over the pale. You know, he talks about God hating gays, things that would never make it on air these days. And so there really is a nexus between sort of the times and also movement forward, even in grappling with those issues. So All in the Family is a really good example, but, but there are others. It took a while to get to, you know, that Will and Grace or Ellen moment. Roseanne had an episode where there was a gay character and Roseanne, you know, kisses the woman. You have 30-something. If you remember, that show was popular back in the day and there were gay couples on that show. So often gay characters were not the central figures on the shows, but they were part of the family and become sort of, you know, integrated into storylines. And then we begin to see steady progress made. Um, Ellen in 1997 comes out on air. Oprah is on the show. It was controversial at the time, but you can see the movement that's taking place. That's, of course, maybe the most famous moment in this pop culture evolution. Let's take a uh, look at that Ellen moment. Why can't I just say the truth? I mean, be who I am. I'm 35 years old. I'm so afraid to tell people. I mean, I just... Susan, I'm gay. <laughs> So that Ellen moment, probably the, you know, the most famous, but then of course we had Will and Grace right after that. And there seemed to have been this shift from it being really groundbreaking stuff to the joke almost being, this is not a big deal. Exactly. And now you have you know, Modern Family, which for several seasons has been one of the most popular sitcoms on television. New Normal is a show that is you know, based entirely around a gay couple looking you know, to adopt and start a family. And, you know, you have President Obama saying that Modern Family is one of his favorite television shows to watch. We're starting to see some unlikely political faces uh, finally come out in support of, of same-sex marriage. There's also, in, in pop culture, some, some folks that were later to the game, and hip-hop seems to be one of the places where, you know, finally in the last couple of years, there's been the shift that everyone else had made a, a little bit before. That's right. You know, hip-hop has often been known for its sort of bravado and machismo and that sort of thing, and y we haven't had any figures until Frank Ocean last year, you know, having had a relationship with a man. He doesn't declare himself as gay, but afterwards you see Jay-Z and 50 Cent and others come out and say that they support same-sex marriage and they support Frank Ocean. And so that, even in that corner of pop culture in the world, we're seeing some shifts and people boldly saying, look, this is what I believe. Okay, Krista, thanks a lot. That'll do it for us for tonight. We will fold things up. Hope to see you back here tomorrow. Thank you.